These little bass are tenacious. Yep, yep, yes. Whoa. Let's fucking go! right there. Might go for it again. Missed it twice. Okay, I'll pull it through real slow. There we go. Oh, I missed him. What in the world? Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, he just kind of nibbled at it. He didn't go for it. That was a big one too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. If you're wondering where I am, I'm in Coral Springs, Florida at the moment on vacation. I've been here once before uh, in 2018, the very beginning of the summer, spent a couple days fishing for snakehead. I'm going to be spending four days here in the state this time. Uh, today I'll be fishing for snakehead only. Tomorrow I'm going to venture out into the canals and see how many other species I can catch. The next couple days we'll see what happens. Saw him coming. Won't you calm down? I'll unhook you. You just made it worse. Nice looking little dude. That culvert looks really promising. There must have been something right there. I typically try to 
fish these things text exposed, but I can't here because they like to face hook point down and catch every single piece of brush and leaf that they roll over. So I picked up my rental car and finally get around somewhere other than where I was staying. Uh, so I've moved to a portion of the canal just down the road. We're gonna see what happens. All right, I've walked far enough here. I'm gonna go back, back to the car, hop around to a couple other spots. I don't have a lot of time today, so I'm just gonna get a, hit a spot and go real quick before the thunderstorms come in. Got a lot of rain on the forecast the next few days. So I'm gonna try to make the most of whatever fair weather I have. I'll tell you what, these little bass are tenacious, but they're getting in my way. Fish aren't biting because it's the middle of the day and it looks like rain's coming soon. So, I'm gonna go back, relax a little bit, drink some water, probably hit it again in the afternoon, weather permitting. So, I have a little bit of history with this particular portion of canal. This is the very first canal that I visited when I came to this area almost four years ago. Is that a buffalo? No, it's not a buffalo. There's something there in the water though. I'm not sure what that is. Carp? Yeah, that's a carp, I think. Grass carp or something. It's pretty fat. It's a big old fish. It's two of them. Lots of carp, they're everywhere. They seem completely unperturbed by my presence. It's pretty cool. If I had brought bed, bread, I could catch one, but oversight on my part. These oh, that one's huge. Oh my goodness, that thing is massive. Do what? Where at? Oh no, I walked on the other side, but... Oh, my bad. Running and gunning. All right, next spot. So now I'm approaching the area where I caught that nine pound snakehead almost four years ago. Off right over in that area, in the junction is where I caught it. it. Still looks like a good area. I'm not getting my hopes up. No, don't go over there, don't do it, don't do it. Don't go over there. There was a big aggressive one right there. And I might not get it now because they swam right through its area. He was fighting the weeds just as much as he was fighting me. Really something. Had my hopes up. That approach was just like a snakehead. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, that works too. Bye. First one, looks to be a lion. Ouch, 
sharp. Nope, come here. I figured he'd try to steal it. So this is an Oscar cichlid, I believe. Uh, they're a little bit different from my cichlids. They have a little, nice little pair of choppers on them. So if you mishandle them, you might get scratched or bit a little bit. Really pretty fish though. Couldn't even catch a cichlid. Fishing pressure is way worse in this location. Gonna move on to the next one down the road. Kind of sketchy. Right on the edge of this road. Lots of cypress though. This might be nice. A couple of Florida gar here. Let's see if I can get him interested in this little piece of uh, bait here. Yep, yeah, he got it. He he grabbed it. A gar, typically smaller bait is better, just for this reason. He still hasn't been able to swallow it. But it looks like he's pretty close. Nope, 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 I need to set the hook. He's gonna go into the weeds. And he's off. I knew that was gonna happen. There's a bunch of gar hanging out over there. And I can't tell, but they look, at least a few of them, a couple of them look melanistic. So that would be interesting if I could catch one of those. Yeah, that one bit, but it was trying to go straight back into the weeds. Couldn't have that. The sick lids are tearing it up, but then the gar can't get to it. Yep, there we go. All right, I'm gonna try to set this hook. Looks like I got him this time. Woo! Jeez. It's a really nice looking fish. First Florida gar ever landed. He's a fatty. No. Uh, just as difficult to handle as any gar. Please don't make me break my line, please. Please, please. Uh, how does this happen? Oh, that's a really light colored one. That's kind of cool. I actually do want to catch that one. Come here. Ah, no. 
Don't run away. Oh, Bofin. Bofin, just grab my bait. Oh. Ah, missed him. Jeez. Hanging out right there in the lily pads. Oh, my hook wasn't even exposed. What the hell? Oh, the Bofin's still there. I wonder if I can get him to... Opens like nosing up to that gar. That's really weird. Oh, yep, yep, yes. I can't believe he went for it a second time. And I missed him again. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm sunburned and tired and thirsty. So I think I'm done for the day.